Seven seconds? Oh, so you did know that. So now you know why I eat a hot dog in six seconds or less, right? Then like, <laughs> but, <laughs> it was seven seconds, it was seven seconds, all right? Uh, no, nah, but this is what you really do when you break up with someone. Um, you try to better yourself, right? Did anyone go through a rough breakup recently? Yes, no, am I the only one? Yeah, lonely ass people in the back. <laughs> nah, so uh, we broke up and I'm like, you know what? I'm a better myself. You ever do that? Like, I'm a better myself, 2019, yeah, you know? I'm actually giving up on 2019. 2020 wouldn't be my year, though. Okay? <laughs> 2019 been rough. My first resolution. <laughs> My first resolution was like, you know what, women like smart guys. I'm gonna read more books, right? I'm a book reader. Where are my book readers in the house? <laughs> so let me tell you, okay, answer me this. Is this ever happened to you? Is this ever happened to you? Okay, you're reading a book, right? And then two hours into the book, you start thinking to yourself, like, if I watch the movie, I'd be done by now. <laughs> So now I'm out here 2019, got no books, okay? <laughs> so I was like, fuck that resolution. My next resolution was uh, I was going to um, learn another language, okay? Right? So, yeah, yeah, my bilingual people. Women like bilingual zoos, right? So if any out of all the languages, you know what? I'm gonna learn French, but that romance languages, right? You, speak French? Yeah. you must be French, you're with a girl, right? <laughs> This is my problem, but can we, can we have French speakers out here? Give me some noise. We, we, we. This is the problem with French, okay? My French speakers can attest to this, okay? I'm in the first day of French class, right? I'm sitting in the front row, mainly because I'm Asian, I'm studious, right? So, <laughs> so the teacher's translating shit from uh, French to English, right? So she says in front of the whole class, like, as you can see, in French, just like in English, the adverb comes before the noun. And I'm just like, I need to learn English before I can learn French. What the fuck is an adverb? <laughs> so now it's 2019, no books, no French, and I'm still single. Woo! 2020, though. Am I here? Fucking 20. I mean, it's tough being in a relationship, because, like, did you ever get, like, really mad at your girl? You ever, like, no, never, it's a happy relationship, you know? I used to get so mad at my girl, um, this is what I would do. I would, uh, go into her kitchen, right? I'd grab every jar in the kitchen and just, uh, tighten the lids on all the jars, you know? <laughs> And now I'm single, all right? <laughs> Don't forget that shit. Uh, and then the other thing you do when you're single, you try to like branch, uh, branch out of your social circle, right? And make new friends and shit, right? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? You try to branch out of, out of your circle, right? Um, yeah, I try to make some white friends, right? Uh, here's the problem with how white people, uh, black people in the second row, you can back me up here. Uh, <laughs> don't you ever find your white friends are kind of culturally insensitive, right? You know? Because I swear to God, I'll be, uh, uh, I'll be at home, right? I'll be making dinner, and then my, one of my white friends calls me up. He's like, hey, Brian, what you doing? I'm making dinner. What you making? Noodles. Oh, you're making Chinese food again? <laughs> Bitch, in my house it's just called food. <laughs> yes. yeah. um, another thing I don't understand about white people, um, let me ask you this. Um, what is gluten and why can't you people eat it? <laughs> I mean, I've never seen a disease that only plays the white population. <laughs> Sunburn, they got gluten too, okay? So, it's like, how wealthy did you have to get as a people to be like, you know what, it's too easy for us, let's try to do it without bread, you know? It's like, it's like being be gluten free is like the white man's way of trying to be oppressed, you know? Like, like, I don't get it, I don't get it. Uh, there's no sense, right? Um, 
so then, so this is the other thing I tried to do, right? So then I tried to make some black friends, you know? Uh, people in the second row, you can back me up here. This is the problem I have with the black people. It's a true shit. Um, first of all, a good chunk of them to live on the south side. Does anyone know? So yeah, I'm trying to visit one of my friends, right? And um, he makes me get on the 96 bus, right? All the way to the south side. Um, we go to this cookout, right? Um, I get there early, you know, because I'm Asian, right? Um, <laughs> Now I'm tasked with the duty of buying food for the cookout, right? Uh, so this, keep in mind, this is, uh, uh, keep in mind, this is uh, uh, this is up in Congress Heights, right? Uh, oh, bitch, you know. <laughs> so this is what he says. He's like, go to the Safeway on Alabama Ave. There is no problem with the Safeway on Alabama Ave. Um, they need to rename it to the unsafe way. <laughs> and let me tell you why you can't get no food at the safe one out of your mouth. I'm in there, right? Okay? I'm looking for quinoa, okay? Quinoa. <laughs> At the Safeway, I'm out of there after bring to a black cookout, okay? I'm looking for quinoa. Okay? <laughs> and I swear to God, and this isn't even a joke, okay? This is what the lady behind the counter says to me. She goes like this. She goes, nah, she don't work here no more. <laughs> thinking to myself, like, holy shit, you got to deal with like, slavery, Jim Crow laws, and socialized racism, and I felt so bad for him, right? Um, but I see right next to him was another homeless guy, right? Uh, but he was white, and I was thinking to myself, like, oh damn, you fucked up. Because <laughs> I was so confused, because if I was like a white homeless guy, um, not that, if I was just like a white guy, if I was just like you in front of, what's his name, uh, Matthew? Um, <laughs> no, honestly, all I would do is grab a book, walk into Starbucks, and sit down. Because right? <laughs> eventually, someone's going to come up to you and be like, Hey, can you watch the, my laptop as I go to the bathroom? <laughs> People in the second row ain't no one ever asked you to do that shit. <laughs> By the end of the day, if you're a white man in Starbucks, you'd have uh, three nine books, a purse, a couple of Ray-Bans, right? <laughs> you'd be good to go. So, this is what, I had to find out how this white homeless man became a white homeless man, right? So, I asked him the hard-hitting question. I was like, look, man, um, how much gloom did you eat to end up in this situation? <laughs> I need to know. Thank you so much. My name is Brian Howe. You guys have a good night.